right, guys. Candy here at My Mobile Homestead. I almost, I almost did it again. Okay. So I'm making chicken soup tonight. My husband loves hearty chicken soup. So what I'm doing here is I have some frozen... I had chopped up some um, celery and I freeze it. So I broke a chunk off of that and threw it in here in some um, coconut oil. Then I chopped up a red onion and I had some leftover yellow squash in the refrigerator. So we're getting that eaten up so that uh, it doesn't go bad. Um, I'm going to throw some potatoes in there. We do have a little bit right now in there. Uh, let me see. I threw in some peas and I have some already cooked chicken that's going to go in. I may put in two bags. Then I'm going to put in some chicken broth and some um, cream of chicken soup. And I think that's all I'm going to be putting in. But it's going to be really, really hearty. My husband is cutting up potatoes at the moment. And then when it's all together I will come back and show you I uh, went and got myself a pepper mill finally I'm using the organic peppercorn that I got from my best friend when after she passed away and I put my um, pink salt in there so I have pepper in here and I have some salt but not a whole lot because the this one well it doesn't say low sodium so I think that one is normal. My, I have another one right here that my husband picked up, but he accidentally got reduced sodium. So, um, though he kind of doesn't mind getting the reduced sodium kind because he feels that our pink salt is probably a lot better than the stuff that they put in there. All right, so see you in a minute. Okay, my friends. Here is the final, it is done. Look at this, oh gosh. Look how beautiful that is and so thick and hearty. We've actually gotten to the point where we joke around and we call it stoop because my husband just prefers a thicker, he does not like a lot of broth. So what I ended up doing was adding some of this uh, basil to it, just about maybe a teaspoon. I added like a peeping tablespoon of this minced garlic and then I had dehydrated these um, red orange and green peppers quite some time ago and I threw in a big pinch of that so now we have this and it's really delicious okay guys now it is time for the taste test Mm. Excellent. Mm hmm. A little hot. <laughs> mm. Really, really good. So, you noticed in the video, I ended up only using the two um, yellow boxes, the smaller boxes of the uh, broth. So, um, so, yeah, and then um, you'll notice that I put some cream soup in there. I put one thing of the cream soup. And I use that particular brand because it's gluten-free. So I use that, and it gives it just that little oomph. Another thing is um, your, you noticed that I was talking about sautéing some vegetables down there in the bottom. That gives the vegetables kind of a little bit of a roasted flavor. So you can do it without roasting your vegetables or, or you know, browning them a little bit but um, it tastes really good and plus if you're using coconut oil it adds a little bit of the healthy coconut oil to your soup and it tastes great so I hope this was enjoyable like share and subscribe comment below love you guys God bless